This is a first. The F35B has never touched the deck of HMS Queen Elizabeth or the, or the class of carrier. And that's what first of class flight trials is. It's bringing those two um, systems together, the F-35 and the ship, and making sure they're interoperable and melding the two together so we have a true fighting system uh, to move forward for the next 50 years. turn that corner and look at HMS Queen Elizabeth sat in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean um, with its own guard ship, a British guard ship sat next to it, uh, was filled me with pride. It really was a momentous occasion, you know, we, the, the eyes of UK and Defence were watching us um, to see how we performed. So when those aircraft first arrived, and you know, personal connection, Nath Gray who was flying that lead aircraft, good friend of mine, we flew Harriers together many years ago. Um, to see the jet in the hover alongside and then finally land vertically on the deck was, was a real key moment. You know, I think a massive sense of relief, but for everybody it was opening that next chapter of carrier aviation for the Royal Navy uh, as F-35B landed on the Queen Elizabeth class, HMS Queen Elizabeth. Um, you know, that was the start of the next 50 years of what we're going to do with this ship. In 2010 it was quite, in fact, very mixed emotions. Um, it was a privilege to fly the last Harrier ever from HMS Ark Royal and the Invincible class aircraft carrier. The mixed emotions were that was the shutdown of our carrier strike capability for the Royal Navy and for the UK. It was difficult to contemplate taking a decade out of carrier strike, um, but there was a promise and there was a carrot dangled at the end of the line in front of us that in a decade's time there would be this immense capability and that was going to be F-35B on HMS Queen Elizabeth. The carrier is built uh, specifically for the F-35, we call it a fifth gen carrier. Um, it's got all the systems that have been engineered and built into the aircraft carrier purely for the F-35, so no other carrier in the world has been built just for the F-35 and from from the, the embryonic stage, this carrier was built um, just for this air vehicle. It feels like we've moved forward about a generation in true capability. And so it's incredibly impressive the advances that have been made just in a, in a short period of time. And the UK are going to be very, very, very impressed with what they get at the end of this trial. Three elements of the total uniqueness of this ship the ski jump, the twin islands, uh, and then the shipboard rolling vertical landing. The F 35B can land with forward speed now, it can land on a ship with about 30 35 knots of overtake, and it doesn't need any braking assistance, it doesn't need an arrestor hook, it doesn't need arrestor gear. It just comes down in its semi jet ball mode and it hits the deck jump on the brakes and we bring it to a full stop and this has never been done before so that was by far one of the greatest accomplishments of this trial. From the VL side we've proven the vertical landing capability of the aircraft out on the amphibious assault ships. Uh, now we're just doing it on this carrier but specifically evaluating the, uh, the turbulent effect of wind over deck with the specific ship structures that are here on the flight deck. The ski jump ramp is uh, not new to us as a flight test team we have a a land-based ramp that we evaluated at PAX River. Slightly different profile here on the ship, so we're just evaluating the launch and uh, the launch characteristics, everything from the loads that are imparted on the landing gear to how the aircraft handles on the flight deck with a crosswind to its uh, launch performance as it goes off this, the ramp exit.
This trial has been the focus of our lives, so many people's lives, for the last two years. It's not all about the eight weeks on board. In fact, it's mostly about the two years that led up to this. The proudest moment that I'll look back to, to is, is thinking of the people. All the people within the F-35 ITF, you know, such fiercely intelligent people um, working so hard, so dedicated to, to the cause of making this air vehicle uh, the best in the world, which it is. Um, but then also the people who built this carrier and then more importantly the people who actually live on board the carrier. This is a floating city um, and it's the people on board right now that are making this happen. And those people won't change um, over 50 years. That is, that's the, the defining moment of now. The total professionalism, the total dogged determination and the utter sacrifice that people have made in order to get to the point where we can fly on board this ship and absolutely knock it out of the park, that is what I will remember. Satisfaction lies in the effort, not in the attainment. And full effort is full victory. And we're going to walk off this ship knowing that we put in full effort. And that's why we'll walk off this ship feeling fully victorious.